how to use Weebly as a beginner. Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to be giving you a tutorial on Feedly, how you can use Feedly to get all the insights about your important sites, blog, Twitter, and newsletters. So let's get started. First, what you guys need to do is simply go to feedly.com and you will get to this website right here. This is the official website and here we can get started. So in order to sign up, you will go to this get started option. And signing up process is really easy and it's completely free. You can sign up with your Google account, Apple, Twitter, Windows, or you can sign up with your email address, add your first name, last name, password, click I am not a robo and you're good to go. So once you create your own account on Feedly, you will get your own dashboard. After the initial sign up or sign in to your Feedly, this is where you will get. And now let me show you how we use Feedly and how we can get our feeds, how we can get, um, you know, all the updated blogs and information, everything we need to know. And now we have this today section on Feedly and it gives us our feed. Like this is our feed just like we have on Twitter, we have on Instagram. So we have me and in me, I will be able to check all the feeds that I follow. And then we have explore section as well. So in explore again, I will be able to get all the feeds and all of the articles and blogs that, that are trending and that are trending in different niches. So I can explore more through explore section given here. And from explore, if I like an article, if I like a, an account, I can just follow them. That's how it works right here. And I can add them to my feeds here. With Feedly, we stay updated and we get information and articles on all the updated information, anything happening in any niche, we can get articles and blogs from here. You don't need to go to Google every time and search for articles and search for new research. And now we have today's section and explore. Again, we have today here, read later and manage leo this is our robo that we get here then we have feeds and in feeds i will be able to check all the feeds that i personally follow and then we have different niches that i can create what i can do is i can follow websites twitters reddit and newsletters from this option click right here and it will take you to all the websites twitter reddit and newsletter let's go to the website section first in website i can go to all of these different niches and categories so first of all we have featured in featured we have tech cybersecurity, marketing and business if i scroll down we have industries in industries i will be able to check all the industries such as automotive energy industries retail medical devices food and healthcare. Then we have different trends and in trends, we have trends such as cryptocurrency, mixed reality, internet of things, machine learning. Then we have skills. In skills, I can follow different skills in different categories such as SEO, writing, creativity, photography, data science, content marketing. And then we also have the fun section for comics, gaming, food, music, culture, crafts, and travel. Let's go and follow comics. So I will go to hashtag comics and now I will be able to check all of the comic accounts here available on Feedly and I will be able to get my you know new post right here in my feed. Let's go ahead and follow this account right here. Click on follow. And now I can also add them to my different folders that I have created. We can manage our Feedly and create different folders that I have. For example, I have medical education related folder, photography and technology. Now let's create another folder known as fun. So to create a brand new folder, you can create three folders with the free version. And if you want to update, if you want to create more and more folders and follow more and more people, unlimited accounts, then you can go with the upgraded version. There is a free account and you can explore more with free. You get a lot of different options. Just in case, if you want to buy an upgrade, let me show you the pricing plan. So here we have a pro plan which is six dollars per month and then there is a pro plus which is a 25 dollars per month an enterprise that you can request so the pricing plan is quite reasonable and you can just sign up for any of the plan and upgrade any time um and now we we know that we can go to this section right here let's go back we we checked out websites similarly i can go to twitter and i can add my twitter right here and i will be able to follow through feedly then we have reddit and newsletters so we can 
connect our Reddit newsletters and our uh, Twitter anytime we want to. Again, you just select any of the niche. For example, if I go with cryptocurrency, it will open up hashtag cryptocurrency for me. And then I can just follow different accounts in different folders that I like. You just click on follow and you follow them all. Um, these are different feeds that I follow. And let's go with maybe photography. And in photography, I follow these accounts. I have eight accounts. And I can now check out different articles from here. Let's go with this one. You just click on it and you will be able to read it. Once you are reading something on Feedly, you can go ahead and bookmark it as read later. I can just select this one. Then we can add and save it to board. We also have save to Evernote option. So Evernote integration is available. We can copy the link to clipboard and share on other platforms. We can share to Buffer via email, LinkedIn, Twitter, WordPress, and we have more options as well, Pocket and Facebook. So if I want to add this article to my WordPress website, I can just go to this option right here and it will open up my WordPress for me. And I will be able to add different articles and blogs from here from Feedly to my WordPress. So that's how it simply works. Similarly, we will be able to find our read later here. You can see this is the article that I just added to my read later. And once it's done, you can click on marked as read and it will be, you know, gone from here. Again, if I want to add an article, I can click on this article section, search for a URL and I will be able to search for any article. Similarly, we have an newsletter option and I can create a newsletter with my different articles from here, different blogs. Similarly, I can add different team members too. I can also get different views. So right now I have selected the magazine view. I can go with title only. Similarly, we have article view in which it will show me different articles. So we can just, you know, explore different views in Feedly. We have the power search here switch to themes and I can just go to a dark theme as well. I personally prefer a dark theme. Then we have new features and then we have our profile here. In feed settings, I can just hide different feeds and I can unfollow any of the feed I like. You can see these are my feeds that I follow. And now I can just go ahead and select and manage them the way I want to. You can also go ahead and import your OPML if you like. You can share your feed with others too. And we have different feeds. Any feed is unreachable. You can just, you know, delete it. So I'm just going to delete this one and remove from my feed. Again, I'm going to delete this one as well. The two of the feeds I'm removing perfect from my medical section and now I can just follow more as well anytime I want to I'll just go to this section here or I can just search for you know medical related and it will just give me thousands of different um options and I can just you know click on follow select the folder click on add and it will be added there you go so that's how simple it is to add a feed to your Feedly and then explore more. Let's go back to our today's feed. Let's read a few of the articles, get more information, what's happening around the world, what are the different researches and what is your favorite business tycoons and what are your favorite scientists doing. You can just add them right here. I'm going to select and add it to read later. This is really interesting. And similarly, I can explore more and share it on my LinkedIn and Twitter anytime I want to using Feedly. So yeah, guys, this brings us to the end of the video. I hope that I was a big help to you. And now you know how to use Feedly to get your articles and blogs really easily. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel.